Up first this evening, a former National Security Minister is on the defensive after news broke that three soldiers charged with murder were granted immunity from prosecution. Peter Bunting said he issued the order in keeping with the emergency powers regulations after getting information from the Jamaica Defence Force, JDF. The stunning development came in court today when the trial of the soldiers was set to begin. This has forced a high court judge to adjourn the matter. TVJ's Andrea Chisholm explains. Three JDF soldiers, Greg Tingling, Odell Buckley and Arnold Henry, were to begin trial on Monday for the murder of chartered accountant Keith Clark. Mr. Clark was killed by soldiers on May 27, 2010, as they hunted former fugitive Christopher Dudu Skoke. In a stunning development, Paul Beswick, the lawyer representing the soldiers, argued they could not be prosecuted, pointing to a 2016 document from former National Security Minister Peter Bunting stating that their actions were in good faith for public safety and in the public interest. When Keith Clark was killed, a state of a public emergency was in effect. The regulation stated that no action, suit, prosecution or other proceedings shall be brought against any member of the security forces in respect of any act done in good faith during the emergency period. Mr. Bunting was not the National Security Minister when the regulations were passed in 2010, but for him... It is the emergency powers regulation that grants the immunity, not the minister. The minister's certificate is merely evidence that the member was so acting. In other words, they were on some bona fide mission of the military in this case. When the request for this certificate is made, it comes in the form of a letter of Chief of Defense Staff, which basically states that these men were on such a mission. So, why were the certificates signed six years after? The former National Security Minister insists he acted when it was brought to his attention. The Minister is making no judgment in this case. He is basically providing this certificate, which is evidence for the court case. If the contrary is provided, then, you know, if there is evidence to the contrary, it can be, can be proved that they were not acting in good faith, then it is for the court to determine what happens then. Now, Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Llewellyn told the court that she received the documents on Friday, April 6. She accused Defence Counsel of seeking to ambush the trial, adding that the certificates have no legal effect and the trial should proceed. Justice Glenn Brown is expected to decide on Wednesday whether to stop the trial of the soldiers or refer the matter to the Judicial Review Court. Andrea Chisholm, TVJ News.